As he pulled away, I was left in a mental mush pool. I felt weak in the knees, despite my will demanding me to stand straight in front of the boys before me. The world around me began to spin as I tried to speak. Ah, I think I'm going to... Ah, where are our manners? I'm James, and these are my brothers. Sam, Eric, Matthew, and Damien. Dot, dot, dot. <laughs> Miss, are you okay? Shit. She fainted. <laughs> <laughs> ah, shit. Uh, if I had only read like two minutes in, we would have had a cliffhanger. <laughs> God damn it, Dino. You had one job. That's fine. We can, we can edit them together and then <laughs> this will be the cliffhanger. No. We will do... <laughs> You've ruined it, Dino. You've ruined everything. <laughs> Soil. <laughs> I couldn't believe it. Incubi. Real. It all spun around in my head until I saw only black. Floating in the darkness, my mind kept replay replaying the scene over and over again, reminding my body of the touch of the Incubi's lips against mine. However, I began to feel the smooth silk around me and my eyelids unwillingly opened. Where... In a room. I woke to fi <laughs> I woke to find myself in an unfamiliar place. Where was Mum? Dad? I was pretty sure this wasn't my room. Oh, wait. I lived at my grandfather's house now. Of course it would be unfamiliar. I rubbed my eyes and surveyed my surroundings. I was still in the clothes that I had arrived at the I <laughs> at the house in. It's <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> that bonbon put me off. <laughs> it was laying in a silk covered bed I remembered coming in the afternoon so why was it night time already at least the background is actually dark yeah it's actually night time <laughs> suppressing a yawn I stretched my arms maybe I should order some food for delivery I was feeling pretty hungry and I was, ab I was about to sit up but I suddenly realised I wasn't alone uh oh Huh? <laughs> <laughs> I can't do screams. Since when was he standing there? And who the heck was he? A guy in my room, uh, my bedroom, did we? No. There is no way. Hmm. <laughs> Sorry. I think I was saying my thoughts aloud. Why was I apologizing to a stranger who only said two words since I woke up? Wait. He looked eerily familiar. Then it all came back to me. So, why have I got all the reading? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't plan it. <laughs> You've been reading nope. ahead. <laughs> nope, I actually haven't. I have no idea what's going to happen next. Incubus. He was an incubus. He and his brothers came here for refuge. And two of them kissed me. And then I fainted. And that was how things came to this. Oh! Mm. He was leaning against the far wall, looking at me. My I heart began... wasn't standing in the center of the room. <laughs> no. My, my heart began to raise as I thought of the endless list of possibilities this situation brought me. I hated the thought of being under an incubus's power, especially in a bedroom. Be calm, jump up and protect yourself. Uh, protect yourself? Duh. Are you going for that one? Yep. Yeah. I instantly jumped up and grabbed, my, grabbed a pillow, covering myself with it. I felt stupid, yes, but who knows what that guy could do. Do your worst this time. I'm prepared. <laughs> prepared with a pillow. With a pillow. With a pillow. With a a sing single pillow. <laughs> One single <laughs> pillow. He didn't move. I guess that he wasn't going to attack me. <laughs> Sorry. One thing with still that? concerned me, though. I'm not going to use my powers on you. Huh? How? I can read minds. It's an ability I was born with. Each of us has a different ability, outside of our usual mind-altering powers. Great. Even more surprises. I grew even more worried about the situation I was in. I see. How long have I been asleep? For a few hours. <laughs> it's already gotten quite dark outside. Ah, uh, well, where are the others? My brothers are downstairs, cleaning up the blood from the lobby floor. 
<laughs> and making you dinner as an apology. Oh, okay. That's unexpectedly sweet. Oh, it's They're the least using we can it. Do after invading your home. It's all a ploy. On you. <laughs> You've got a point. Right. I had forgotten about that. It still irked me that they had practically taken advantage of me at that point. Even if they were demons, it was pretty rude to demonstrate their powers by kissing me. It wasn't some kind of human plaything. All of this seemed pretty unreal. It was like something out of those romance novels that Naomi sometimes reads. I wish I could have... I wish I could have just one... Oh, okay. See, I can't. I just... Just mm -mm. too much reading. Too many bonbons. <laughs> too many bonbons. <laughs> I, <w> I <laughs> wished I could have just went back to sleep and forgotten all about this. Maybe I should have just called the police on them. Then I would never have landed myself in a situation. Uh, do you feel well enough to get out of bed? Yeah, I think so. Whoa! <laughs> oh, great. I won't let you go. Uh, I'm not so that sure about creepy. this. That was creepy. That was creepy. I promise. That was even more creepy. Uh, okay. I trust you. Good. <laughs> Good. Okay, then. I was, spe <laughs> <laughs> I was speechless. He was carrying me as if I weighed nothing. He was so strong. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. I forgot. <laughs> It's all right. I'm used to it. I decided to close my mouth for the time being so that I wouldn't weird him out or make things more awkward than they already were. Her mouth did not close. Her mouth did not close. <laughs> <laughs> nope. Well, he didn't seem to mind carrying me or listening to me talk. So at least things weren't too strange. His eyes are purple. They are purple. They're purple. <laughs> so that's a good, you know. Observation, Dino. So mm -hmm. proud that you've done this. <laughs> Damien seemed very quiet and calm about everything, especially with the situation we were in. However, there was a sort of longing in his eyes when he looked at me that wasn't lustful. It was more in... admiration? Sure. Once we reached the, <laughs> Once we reached the lobby, I decided that I felt well <laughs> enough to walk on my own. As strong as he was, it was... It was like he was carrying nothing. I didn't want to make him carry me everywhere. That's what I would do. Yeah, that would be Carry me fighting. everywhere, right? <laughs> yeah, sure. Thanks for carrying me, but I think I can walk by myself now. Not saying I didn't like it, I mean. I liked it. Not in a weird way, of course. <laughs> it's not like Definitely I get... not in a weird way. <laughs> it's not like I get carried around all the time. What I'm trying to say is that it was really nice of you to do that. I started to fumble over my words again, real smooth. It's no problem. I'll be heading to the dining room then. Ah, all right. See you. So you're not a bad reader. You're just getting him the character. <laughs> he gently lured me. He's already gone. How could he have already lured? Me? He gently lured Remember, me. To the... <laughs> they they can just go away. <laughs> it's like. <laughs> he gently lured me to the ground before he walked off quietly, disappearing into the shadows of the dark lobby. Yet, it's it, very... It, very dark. <laughs> very dark. Very. Oh, hi. <laughs> my name Matthew. I don't like him. He's a robot. Suddenly, a boy who looked around my age, or possibly younger, bounced up to me. He looked vaguely familiar. Oh, wait. Ah, uh, you're Matthew, right? Mm -hmm. I would not That's have me. remembered his name. Are you feeling any better now? Maybe Look, I actually didn't remember who he was. <laughs> <laughs> I'm fine. Really? Your face is kind of red. Do you feel sick? No, no. I'm fine. I'm sure of it. I must have been blushing when Damien was carrying me downstairs. How embarrassing. Well, if you say so. I hope Sam and Eric didn't make you upset. They definitely didn't make her <laughs> upset. It's not like she avidly punched one of them. Yeah. Like, three times nearly. Mm-hmm. It's okay. After all, I did hit Sam after what he did. And about Eric, I just wanted you guys to prove to me what you were saying. I suppose Incubi are real then. I wondered how exactly I got myself into this mess. First my grandfather, then a fight with my father, blowing up at Lizette, and now this. Who's a robot. 
who is a robot. Does, does that's a robot. Yep. I certainly had a knack for getting myself into sticky situations. Wonderful. Hmm. Oh, I have an idea. I don't like the sound of that. Hmm. Oh, God. He shoved his hands into his pocket with a cheery grin on his face. Wait for it. Wait for it. Is he trying to do a magic trick? Ta-da! It's a... It's a demon bunny with a knife. It's a squirrel. <laughs> it's a squirrel. <laughs> it's uh... Dave the squirrel. <laughs> um, what <laughs> is that exactly? He smiled as if to wave it off, but when he opened his eyes and saw what he was holding, his face froze in shock. Wait a second. What did I just make? This, this is... Dot, dot, dot. Oh, it's a doll. What he produced from his pocket was a creepy-looking doll. Ah, oh, what is that? It's a squirrel. I... I'm not sure. <laughs> that laugh. That laugh. <laughs> It is a squ- it's a squirrel with a knife. It's a squirrel with a knife with really red eyes and eyebrows. It's totally Dave the squirrel. His, His name is Dave. <laughs> His face paled considerably, and he dropped it onto the floor, scooting away from it frantically. Get it away from me! It might be possessed. Oh, the music's back. Dot dot dot. But isn't he a demon himself? That's not what I wanted to make. I just wanted to surprise you with a stuffed animal or just something to cheer you up. That looks like it came straight out of a horror movie. He slumped his shoulders and looked down at his feet. Ah, uh, it's okay. You don't have to look so dejected. I mean, it's certainly unique. You can have it. I think I'll keep it. Yeah, we're keeping it. Yep. But it looks so creepy. It's the fault that counts, right? You wanted to cheer me up after all. I picked up the doll and looked at it closely. Sure, it looked pretty weird at first, but it could be cute if I looked at it from a certain angle. And just ignore the fact that it was carrying a knife. Yep, I gave him a small smile. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> You're welcome. It's good to see you smiling. Oh, what was that? It's the heart. Was like, it's the like heart a relationship the... thing. Oh I think. dear God! No. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh dear. Anyway. You should come with this is dining not room. good. We're almost finished with the food, and, well, I don't mean to brag, but we're pretty decent chefs. Sounds great. Lead the way. Mmm, something smells good. My stomach rumbled in agreement. I was starving. Oh, the girl's awake. <laughs> Excuse you. I have a name, you know. Should we really care? Sam, I will roast that tongue for dinner if it doesn't stop flapping in that idiotic mouth of yours. Shh. Whatever. I apologize for his attitude. Uh-oh. That's fine. <laughs> Good. I hope you'll enjoy the meal we prepared for you. Meal? For a second, my mind didn't understand what James meant. Maybe it was the doll getting to my head and distracting me. It's totally a squirrel. <laughs> ah, that's right. Damien and Matthew mentioned that they were making dinner as an apology. Oh, wait, you didn't have to. We insist. Besides, it's quite impossible to undo our cooking, even if you command us to. All right, well, thank you. Matthew put down the last of the plates on the table and bowed a bit. Ugh, exaggeratedly to me, yes. I can't read... Gesturing to the table with a sweeping motion. Ah, there we go. Dinner's all served. I think if if they say doll again, you have to read it as squirrel. 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 Squirrel! The table was filled with various foods from an eclectic selection of cuisines. One portion of the table was filled with elegantly plated Asian foods, and another portion some yummy-looking desserts. Go straight for the desserts. If that's an option, we click it. <laughs> and there we Yet more and more plates than I could possibly have imagined. Well, that's a lot of food, and it all looks so good. We hope you enjoy it, my sweet. Please don't call us my, my sweet. I don't enjoy that at all. What? what? Sweet? Me? That's enough, Eric. <laughs> You're no fun, James. Oh, father. I don't need to be fun, Eric. Miss... 
Please follow That's me. her dad. <laughs> it is. It totally is. Mm-hmm. I don't, I don't like it. I didn't know what came over me, whether it was his politeness or maybe his power, but I couldn't help but take his offered arm. James seemed very kind and intelligent, but aside from that, there was something that really set him apart from his, brother, from his brothers. Not to mention, he didn't really seem to hold much appreciation for them. Miss, I have to ask, why do you live alone? Oh, well, it's kind of a long story. I'm all ears if you wish to tell. Sure. Sure. So or no? <laughs> Did you click already? Yeah, I put sure. Okay. Or no, whichever. Oh, I... Sure. Sure. Is what we picked. Yep. yep. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just so into the storyline. <laughs> you really are. <laughs> you're like you're like really interested into what happens next. Totally. You're definitely not stalling. <laughs> to put it briefly, I just moved here today. That explains the luggage you brought in when you came through the front doors. By the way, we put your belongings in the room you were sleeping in. That seems to be the master bedroom, I believe. Thanks. This house is really big. I don't think I even explored the entirety of the estate when I was a child. You lived here before? Mm, no. Truth be told, this was my grandfather's house. I used to visit him all the time when I was younger. May I ask why you now live in your grandfather's house? He actually passed away yesterday. It was bequeathed to me, in his will, and I was sent to live here, whether I liked it or not. My condolences. It seems like you don't like the idea of living here. It's not that I don't like this house, or that I don't have fond memories of being here. It's just the implications that come with staying at this estate. It's kind of complicated to explain. How do you feel oh. about it? Oh, it's hot. I certainly wasn't expecting that question, but in a good way. It was different from what I had heard the entire day at school. I appreciated the fact he was willing to listen. I feel angry, sad, scared, and confused. It's hard picking out the different emotions that I'm feeling right now. I wish I were stronger. You don't have to be strong. What do you mean? I understand that you're going through a difficult time, so it's okay to feel those emotions. You don't have to be strong at all. Thank you. So uh, are you alright? So there seems to be a small bruise on your <laughs> He caught me off guard with that comment. I thought no one would have noticed something as small as that. Oh, I'm fine. He stopped and leaned in close, a bit too close for comfort. Or maybe it was just me, inspecting my face. He was really quite tall, having to bend over, so much to just look at me straight in the face. It was hard to look at him, especially when he was so close. After a few seconds, he straightened up and began walking in. Well, if you're having any problems, I'm always here to listen. Thank you, Father. <laughs> <laughs> that's really... Uh oh. Did I close it? No. Okay. That's, that's really kind of you to offer that. My pleasure. I think I minimized it for a second. <laughs> Let me get your chair for you. It took them that long just to get to their seat. I know. And, and like. She's not even pulling out her own chair. He didn't even pull out a chair for her. What kind of guy is he? <laughs> oh, uh, Eric was very charming, and his smile pulled at my heart. The way he kept flirting with me definitely designated him as the charmer of the demons. Yet there was a little distance in his eyes. By the way, I apologize for my behavior. Earlier. You mean his single Still eye that we've seen so far? Like that. <laughs> huh? Oh, yeah. When I didn't hmm. believe that they were incubi. It's fine, I guess. I mean, you didn't just get up and grab a kiss for no reason. I'm not as forward, unlike Sam. <laughs> ha ha ha. Certainly, <laughs> Eric leaned in and whispered in my ear. I won't lie, though. Oh, I oh enjoyed God. kissing you and feeling you melt in my arms. I don't appreciate it. <laughs> I was torn between smacking him and trying to play it cool. If there's a choice, smack him. <gasps> Smack him. Oh, smack him. Smack Exclamation him. Exclamation point, yep. God. That's going to sting. S sorry, I panicked. No, no you didn't. You I smacked was expecting him. <laughs> you smacked him. <laughs> we, we picked it. You did not panic. <laughs> <laughs> I drew my attention back to the dishes. I was both intrigued and slightly scared of the amount of food they made. 
Seeing my expression, Eric leaned forward and proudly smiled, gesturing to all the dishes with a dramatic sweep of his arm. I made almost all of the dishes myself. Humorously enough, Matthew looked at him with a shocked expression, as if he was betrayed. His face changed instantly to that of a frown. And I'm the Queen of the Nile! What's that supposed to mean? Me, you, and James did the work together, dummy. It's you, James, and I, Matthew. <laughs> oh! <laughs> oh, father's coming in with the uh, grammatical uh, corrections. <laughs> <laughs> Little boys will always make mistakes. Matthew looked at James in disbelief, probably for siding with Eric, and he... Annoyedly swiveled back, back to Eric to comfort him. I'm not a Confront boy. him, not comfort. I'm barely a year younger than you. <laughs> I can read. Well, you certainly don't act like it. Ha 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 ha. Ha 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 ha. I really couldn't help but laugh. Matthew seemed very much like a kid. He was adorable. However, I couldn't help but feel like, in a way, he was much more mature than the others, especially Eric. Huh? Is something funny? <laughs> no, no. It's nothing at all. Thank you for the meal, all of you. Oh. <laughs> You're welcome, miss. Such a well-mannered young lady. Beautiful inside and out. Eric, knock that it off! That is weird. <laughs> In agreement with Matthew, <sighs> Sam cocked up his head and glared at Eric. Seriously. You're getting really annoying with that suck-up act. It was obvious that Sam was the bad boy of the group. He had this big, tough act, and it was obvious he was physically stronger than the rest of the guys. But was there more to him than that? I'm just trying to be a gentleman. The young girl has already gone through so much. She deserves a good treatment. Mm -hmm. There's a difference between being a gentleman and being an obnoxious flirt. What happened to the other guy? I Aren't there five of them? <laughs> yeah, I don't it's even know what the other guy looks like. James. You're gonna need some cold water for that burn. Oh, sick burn. <laughs> <laughs> oh, here he is. The guy who carried us. Oh, oh I thought that was the I other believe guy. We can't your name, even though you They're like twins. <laughs> no, seriously. <laughs> I, know. I feel really awkward now because I've put the name as zombie. It's like, I don't want to be in this situation anymore. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I picked a break. Ah, <laughs> uh, I'm name. Greg. It's a pleasure to finally know your name. <laughs> no, seriously. Greg. <laughs> You're Greg. <laughs> okay, I'll be Greg yeah, for the remainder nice of this. <laughs> <laughs> Greg is a nice name. I'm so glad you agree. <laughs> they were all comfortable around me, despite the awkward situation we were in. It was as if it were natural for them being around humans. I guess that's just how Incubi worked. But I was still curious about one thing. Excuse me. All at once, they looked at me. I didn't know why, but having all of them look at me made me feel kind of important, like a queen or something. What is it, miss? I wanted to thank you for the food, but I still want to know why you all came here. I feel like I don't quite understand. Understand? Yeah. Like being told that a bunch of incubi randomly appearing in your house was perfectly understandable. Oh, um, how do we explain? We were attacked. We came here to heal. What's so difficult to understand? Now you're just being rude, Sam. I'm just saying, how is that difficult to understand? Why do you look like our friend? <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> I mean, what specifically happened? Well, you see, we've been traveling around for quite some time now. Just recently, we came into town but we were jumped by this band of misfits. So, in order to escape and heal, we came here for shelter. Again, we apologize for the mess we made. It's fine, I guess. So you all... That was, like, no different from the answer before. <laughs> like, the only word he changed was attacked by misfits. Like, that's not a description, or... <laughs> it's fine, it... Dino. Just no, like I said in the next not, scene. It's not fine. <laughs> it's fine, I guess. <laughs> so you're all better now, right? You can all go home. Yep, all thanks to you. Huh? Me? 
You see, beautiful. Oh, God. We feed on sexual energy. Oh, dear. But we don't just get it from kissing the lovely lady such as yourself. We can simply touch someone's hand to obtain sexual energy. Everyone carries sexual energy, you know. Can you please obtain sexual energy, please? I very much appreciate it. <laughs> I was still in shock about their powers. It wasn't just kisses that gave them power. It was anything physical. No wonder I was out of it for a while. So the guy who carried her down the stairs was should have draining. made her faint. Yes. Right? He was... Yes. Uh -huh. oh. And then then the, the, guy, the dad grabbed her arm. Yeah. God damn it, father. <laughs> These incubi intrigued me, but at the same time, I could almost hear a warning siren going off in my head. Is there anything else you wish to know? Well, what do you all plan to do now? Yeah, what are we going to do now, James? That is a very good question. We just got here, and surely we'll be hunted again if we leave. We can take them, easily. Not without more training, Sam. The result of that was clearly evident in our last encounter with them. At that moment, I didn't know what came over me, but I suddenly felt sorry for them. Don't do it. It was their mind powers. Oh my god. I mean, how can you say no to Matthew's face? Like, look at that. Look how sad he is. <laughs> He's so sad. <laughs> he is really sad. <laughs> they couldn't possibly survive out there. No, the demons, the demons couldn't survive. Mm -hmm. If they didn't know it was illegal to break into people's homes, they probably didn't know a bunch of other stuff. They probably would just cause chaos all over town. Or, on the flip side, they could be taken in for questioning and be poked and prodded like lab frogs for research. That was even worse. But most of all, they reminded me of back then. <sighs> My episode's so long, Diana! <laughs> I mean, you've got ten more minutes. What? <laughs> yeah, we, we both read two episodes. Each episode's like 20 minutes, max. <sighs> and then... Okay. Yeah. I was standing alone. The entire classroom was filled with laughter and chatter, but I stood in the midst of it, quiet it and alone. Was completely empty classroom. Yep. It was strange seeing the whole world pass in front of me with such vibrancy. All the while I stood there. On the plus side, I wasn't engaged in any of the drama that might have arisen, like scribbling on someone's paper for revenge or kicking someone too hard. It was kind of nice, just standing back and watching things pass by and life go on. Oh, I had long before convinced myself that I preferred being alone. I often said to myself in encouragement, Yeah, I want to be alone. There's no one I like better than me, so I ought to spend more time with myself. But there was a certain bitterness that, coupled with being alone, made me feel so sad. There was a difference between being alone and lonely. I just didn't realise it at that moment. And even after that moment, my father, my mother, there was no one to turn to. I was so lonely. That's when I decided on it right then. I was going to see my grandfather. I didn't care if my father wouldn't take me. I was going to walk my way over there and see what he had to say about it. I had never seen him before that. What better time to see him then? If no one else was going to help me with what I was feeling, I might as well have turned to him. So after school, I decided to walk there. I had no idea how to get there. And I was armed with only a scrap of paper with the address scribbled on it. As a seven-year-old, I obviously had great ideas. I soon became lost, and, like I always did when I felt lost, I just stood there on the sidewalk back pressed up against the wall and eyes looking at the strangers passing by. And, like always, people continued to pass by and life continued to go on. I was sadder than ever. I had ended up in the situation I was originally in. Nothing had changed. I thought that it was silly. I was silly for even thinking that I could change things with my own hands. That was until a little- until a voice brought me back to reality. Hi. Is that you? Mm -hmm. I looked up and saw an unfamiliar face. 
but it was obvious that whoever was talking to me knew who I was. And from that moment, things began to change. Life began moving its rusty joints, and I realized that things were moving along. I so guess I have to start now. Are we going to start on this that one? Was a, that was a cliffhanger. Yeah, yeah. Yay! <laughs> <laughs>